Gauthier. High Fashion TV, let's look at my show. It's funny because it's a movie of uh, William Klein, Qui êtes vous Pauli Magou, which is a fabulous movie, you know, oh, the Vogue, uh, American Vogue that make a series of deaths of uh, French haute couture, ooh la la. So I wanted to show something like that and to make it, but in a funny way. We only said so in reality, I show the death of not my haute couture because it will go on, but anyway, a little death of something and birth of something else because it's always like that. So it was inside, there was what? The dead was not dead. I don't know if you saw, but the dress that came out, all white, was done. Recyclage of old organdy dress uh, of a little girl that were like 50s or 60s that I find, you know, and I renovate them and make a big baby doll from that with relief. It was not frills, it was you know, all the dress, you know, with a balloon uh, sleeve. You go back to In the beginning in my first collection, because I, you know I started with no money. And I was going to buy some little thing to the flea market. So I used, I mixed like because it was less expensive. And also because you have to find solution. And I love the stories that was telling my mother that during the war, they were not poor poor, but they were not uh, with money. So she was taking the trousers of my father and she was cutting them and doing a skirt with it. And I saw some of the results and I love that. talented, very generous, very special person, very intuitive. And for me, he's more than a designer, he's an artist, he's a creator, you know. I love him. of humor as a human being. Legendary camp uh, exhilaration. Everything beautiful and positive he radiates. I mean, he's opened the door for the LGBTQ 
IA community. Like we are here because of artists like him setting the tone way in advance. So thank you, Jean Paul. designer being known very well by the public, loved by the people, not only in fashion, but outside, he's a personality. I think he really was the first to bring streetwear into fashion. And his longevity and his creativity, I think very few people will be able to do that, his legacy. bad boy of fashion. I think he has done it all. He has done the bad girls, he has done the trash stores, he has done the hyper actresses, he has done the top models, he has revolutioned a few times the fashion industry. And what is interesting with Jean Paul is that he still feels and knows the vibration of the street. He knows what the young people are going to want to wear five years from now. And this is very, very, very rare for a fashion designer. And I think this is why we're all so crazy about him. and to mix it all up and also very French style but always tongue-in-cheek, always fun, very stylish, very amazing cuts and gorgeous empowered women and men. Why is this your last show? I decided naturally because now I am an old man. I will be 68 in April. 50 years of fashion in fashion, very good, that I love, and 45 years under my name. So 
it's mean like now, oh, it's okay. I think there is new fresh talents that can do a, a lot of things, you know. But, 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 it has been a pleasure. Maybe I, I will be more emotion in some days. But now I am happy because you know why? In reality, I did that uh, profession because uh, I wanted to be loved. I realized when I was a child that I could be loved through my sketches. So I felt so much love today with all those old models that came and wanted to make my show that I was so proud in reality. It makes me very good and uh, feel good because they give me inspiration, you know. and just kind human being. Le corset, le corset, the Madonna, no? The, the skirt for the men, and you know, he just had a great sense of humor. Jean-Paul is not leaving, he's gonna keep going and keep going stronger. than any designer, he's very fun, he's very funky. He really knows how to make a show and everybody will miss him.
Even I remix Hermes scarf. You know, it was like a kind of homage because I love to work for Hermes and I truly have uh, admiration for that house. And I love my experience with them. So I use them and you know what? I make like a tressage with the scarf that I cut on, the, on a, one big embroidery of a ridge. even know but they're wearing Jean-Paul Gaultier style. To put a petticoat on a t-shirt, I mean you can see many people like this in the street and they don't even know that Jean-Paul was the first one to do that. Tattoos for instance, now you see many many people with tattoos. He was the first one to do t-shirts faking tattoos. The way he would twist very classic things into hype things, it could be a raincoat or it could be a, just a man jacket. I think he's one of the first ones to bring the street fashion into shows and also mix kind of people that were not really models, like great faces from any age, from any color. And I think it was the one, the very first one is talking about diversity. I think it's a pity for fashion. Fashion is losing a lot. Recycling is interesting and when the things are beautiful, you can even cycle. And also you can buy some new things, of course. It doesn't mean that now it doesn't exist anymore. New things, but, 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 don't burn the clothes.
and the great ones, their only one word is unique. I don't think this is the finale, this is the beginning of something else. I love the house of Jean-Paul Gaultier and Monsieur Jean-Paul Gaultier. That. that was inspired by Max Ernst, you know? I was a surrealist, and I know from where it comes, because I went that summer in Corsica, and I saw some rocks, you know? For me, it was like corals, fabrics, things like that that were incredible. And I was inspired, and I saw his painting, and it was exactly that, so I was around that area. All over the world, but now we are going to Russia. <laughs> Jean Paul Gaultier started so much. It was the first time that I saw men's wear on the runway treated like women's wear. And I was sexy and it was daring, and I mean, not compared to what we see now. But then, 30 years ago, it was shocked a lot of people. And then there was just his whole attitude about everything being fun and just his own spirit and his enthusiasm and the way that he joined in. He had business of running at the end of the show, of running down the runway. It's as though he wanted to be part of it all. He wanted it to be fun. I want to say thank you, Jean Paul. He brings so much. He gave us. Bang, bang.